Hi, I'm Alicia, and this is NASA Now. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. T minus 10, 9, 8. The journey to Mars is so long because it's not really a direct flight. The Earth is moving and Mars is moving. So what we're really doing is charting a path that sends us from the Earth and we're catching up to where Mars will be at the time that we get there. This month, we will be celebrating the successful landing of the Mars rover Curiosity with a series of shows dedicated to this monumental event. That's ahead. First, here's what's happening at NASA now. After eight years of planning, eight months in interplanetary travel, and seven minutes of terror, the dream became reality. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. The cheers were heard in Times Square, on TV, and computers around the world when on August 6th at 1.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Curiosity landed safely and started transmitting images from the red planet's surface. The path to success for a complex mission like Curiosity takes a lot of talented people with training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Just about a month before it touched down on the Martian surface, we caught up with Nagui Cox, a member of the Mission Operations Team. And Nagui walked us through the process that led from the drawing board to the historic landing of Curiosity. When Spirit and Opportunity successfully completed their prime mission and told us that there was once liquid water on Mars, what an amazing conclusion, and one that we had hoped to find. So even as they were making that discovery, we were beginning to think about the next mission. And in this case, for the next step in exploration, we needed to take more instruments to Mars. So it was clear that Curiosity would have to be bigger. So right away, a separate team called the Entry, Descent, and Landing Team began a series of way-out design discussions about how do we get something larger to Mars. And on a third parallel track was the team building the rover and figuring out how we would operate something so large and with such expectations of driving around on Mars. All of that design work was happening while Spirit and Opportunity were doing their exploration. The environment of Mars always has unknown aspects to it. We are still explorers. So the safest thing you can do is try to test as much as you can. And we did that extensively in 2007 and 2008. Now the opportunities that we have to land on Mars come every two years. And our original launch date was in 2009. But when we were getting close to 2009, it became clear to us that given that this was one of, if not the most complicated planetary mission ever launched, and we had this incredibly new and necessary but complicated landing system, that we needed more time to test it. And because of the planetary launch window, we made the decision to wait until 2011 to really give us time to complete our testing and complete our design and make sure that we had everything ready to go. 
liftoff. When we're on our way from the Earth to Mars, one of the major things we're doing, of course, is navigating. So we do a series of trajectory correction maneuvers. In order to do those course corrections, kind of like turns, we have to know where we are and where Mars is. We do things like look at something called a quasar, where we know where that body is in space. It's a reference point. So we look at that with our antennas that are on the ground. Then we look at the spacecraft. Then we look at the quasar again. And we see how far the spacecraft is away by finding out how long it takes the signal to come back to us. All of those to combine to give our expert navigators a picture of where the spacecraft is and how we have to kind of turn it or push it when we do our maneuvers to get us right on target for the landing on Mars. And Curiosity was right on target when it landed on Mars near the equator. Now it's your turn to calculate Curiosity's 100 million mile journey to Mars. Teachers, you and your students have your destination set, and it's Mars. Now it's up to your class to figure out how to get your spacecraft to the Red Planet. Look for Destination Mars on the NASA Explorer School's virtual campus. Well, that's it for this special Mars edition of NASA Now. Be sure to visit our Facebook page and leave a comment about what you think Curiosity will discover on Mars. We'll see you next time for another Mars Month episode of NASA Now. NASA Now comes to you from the virtual campus at NASA Explorer Schools.